What's up you guys, it's your girl Jilly and today I am doing a highly, highly, highly requested video. A workout video. So I have so many questions regarding workouts, what I eat, before workouts, what I eat after workouts, and just what I eat on a daily basis. So I decided this week I'm gonna focus on answering all those questions, starting with my workouts. And since I haven't eaten yet, I decided to also go ahead and throw in what I usually eat before workouts. And that all depends mainly with what time I wake up. Sometimes if I wake up earlier than others, other days I will actually not eat before my workout, so I'll fast before my workout, mainly because I'm not hungry yet, and to you know build up that hunger. But today I am waking up a little bit later than usual, so I do want something on my stomach before I work out, just so I don't feel nauseous or too hungry and grouchy and you know. So today, this is what I'm gonna eat before my workout. Okay, today I'm gonna start off with an Activia yogurt. You can see. I love the peach flavor. Peach is my favorite. Um, they have so many different flavors. Blueberry, strawberry, peach. But I love to start off with something light. I don't like to work out on a heavy stomach. I cannot. So I always like to work out with something very, very light or like I said, nothing at all. I would definitely not work out after I eat pancakes, bacon, eggs, sausage, all of that. Because if I eat pancakes and all that, I'm doing something else and it's not a workout. It's the itis. I'm going straight to my bed and going to sleep. Definitely keep it light. Other alternatives that I do are a green smoothie. I can put strawberries, blueberries, almond milk. Um, what else do I put in there? Sometimes I put peanut butter, sometimes I don't. I put bananas, spinach. Sometimes I do kale instead of spinach. And um, it just all depends on what I have in the refrigerator. So I definitely do a healthy green smoothie with fruits and I add almond milk and honey. I always, always add honey. Um, for different reasons, honey is good, especially with everything that's going on. Honey is good to fight sickness and just always good for your throat. So I am today opting for an Activia yogurt, just like I said, so it can be light and I can have all my energy and feel light on my feet while I'm working out. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then we are going to work out. So make sure you guys get ready, put on your workout clothes, put on your tennis shoes, and let's go get it. Put your hair in a ponytail. Let's go get this workout in, y'all. Okay, so before we get started, I have to put a side note in. Usually I jam to so much music when I work out and due to YouTube's copyright claims and stuff, I cannot put my music while I'm working out. So today's video for me is gonna be a little more challenging because I will have to do it with no music while I'm talking to you guys. But I will put either on Spotify or Apple Music, I haven't decided yet. I will make a playlist of the music that I work out to that gets me through my workout, that keeps me hype and gets me going. Go either Spotify or Apple Music and I will post it this week, possibly tomorrow, um, on my Instagram, and that way you guys have it to download. So, without further ado, today I'm going to focus on abs and glutes. I am gonna do a full body workout, I'm gonna do some arms and stuff in there, but I'm gonna mainly focus on abs and glutes, were my most requested. So, let's go ahead and get this workout going. Okay, so our at-home gym is not 100% completed yet but that doesn't stop me from working out. So every time I do a workout, no matter what, I always start with about 20 minutes of cardio just for a warm up. And today I'm gonna to be doing the bike. I love the bike. Um, I don't know why, it's just one of my favorites. Sometimes I run, sometimes I do 20 minutes on the treadmill. I will do sprints, um, I'll run around the neighborhood. But no matter what, whatever you do, get that 20 to 25 minute warm up before you start everything else. So. I'm going to be doing my 25 minute warm up on the bike today. <phone rings> 25 minutes, feel free to pause this video just so you can do your 25 minutes alone and then press play when we're ready to continue. All 
I am 20 minutes in. I'm gonna do five more minutes of this cardio. Remember, if you don't do these exercises, if you cheat and only do five minutes instead of 25 minutes, you're only hurting yourself. So come on, let's get it in. What else do you have to do? We're stuck in the house, right? Come on, get this workout in. Stay motivated. Keep going. Push through. Get through those 25 minutes of warm-ups and let's get this party started. Okay, after cardio, I always do two minutes of jump ropes before I start my circuits, just to keep my heart rate up and keep it going. So we're gonna do two minutes of jump rope. If you didn't, you need to go back and finish it. This video is not going anywhere. You can pause it, you can come back to it. It's gonna be right here. So make sure you get that warm up in because it gets your heart rate up and your heart rate being up, guess what it does? Burns more calories. And who doesn't wanna burn more calories? Okay, I'm gonna start my circuit with abs. I am going to show you everything that I do in my circuit. I don't know how many exercises I'm doing just yet, but follow along and we'll see and um, I will give you how many of each ones I'm doing. And then after that, we will do everything that I have showed you three more times to make it a total of four circuits. So don't cheat, like I said, if you cheat, all you're doing is cheating yourself and cheating that sexy body that you want. So don't cheat. I am going to do, start off with side to side abs. This is one of my favorite ab workouts that are always really to burn. If you have a 20 pound weight, go ahead and get that. If you don't have weights at home, get something that is, you know, um, heavy in that sense. Maybe um, a stack of books, maybe a gallon of water. Get anything that kind of gives you a little bit of weight that you can put on. And if you don't have anything, don't worry, still do it. I promise it won't hurt not having weights. So we're gonna do side to side, you're gonna do 20 on each side. Huh, huh, it's one, it's two, it's three, and so forth. So let's do 20 of those right now. Let's get it. Okay, after you do that, then we're gonna do straight up crutches. Um, like I said, if you have the weight, let's do that as well. If not, no worries. We're gonna do 40 straight up crutches. One, two, three, let's get started.
Never gets easy. All right, take a little breather, 90 seconds, and then we're gonna continue on with one more ab exercise, and then we're gonna go into our glutes. The last ab workout for today's circuit that we are going to do is bicycles. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with that one. So we are gonna do 20 on each side, is one, is two, and so forth. Woo! Take a deep breath, and let's knock it out. Okay, to end the circuit, I'm gonna just 
workout and I am done. Okay, for the last one, I'm doing back with 50 pounds and I'm doing them in a deep squat. Okay, I'm doing straight backs. Do 15 of these. Love you guys.